Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will talk about the 6 things which I do during one day before an exam. So the first thing that I do when it's one day before an exam is to review my topic summaries. I think I did mention in my other videos that for IMATS Chemistry and Physics, it is good to have a cheat sheet where it's basically an A4 paper where you have all the most important formulas. You can actually do a chapter summary for each subject, like for each chapter you just pick out all the most important information and fit it into one A4 paper and not more. I usually do that, so one day before an exam, I will review my chapter summaries. All the most important things is already in your chapter summaries, so by reviewing that should be enough revision for the final day. Do not try to cram in like too much information because reading too much information during one day before an exam will just make you feel panicky and stressed out, so just review your chapter summaries. The second thing that I do when it's one day before an exam is that I will make a checklist of all the things that I have to bring into the exam hall the next day. Examples of things that you might need include um, 2B pencils for paper 1, multiple pens in case some run out of ink, and long ruler, protractor, calculator, and your watch. Wearing your watch is especially important if you are sitting for an exam in a big exam hall and you might be seated too far away from the clock so if you can't see the time then you cannot really estimate how much time you have left to spend on the exam paper so definitely try to bring in your watch for public exams you will need your exam sleep and IC make a checklist of the things that you need to bring in and then put aside whatever you can so that you will not forget them during the next day this second thing that I do is extremely important because like if you don't bring your calculator for a math exam then I will leave an exam checklist in the description box below so that you can refer to it and bring everything that you need for an exam you can just take a screenshot of it so that it will come in handy during your exam so the third thing that I do is watch videos of cute animals Yes, I'm not kidding. I love this step as well. It's great. When it's one day before an exam, you'll be super stressed and anxious no matter how prepared you are. So watching videos of cute animals can help you to de-stress. And in a recent Japanese study, it is found that participants who watch cute animals increase their ability to perform their tasks compared to those who didn't. Images of adorable animals can actually help your brain to focus. So you can try searching in YouTube like a uh, baby panda sneezing or a hamster eating a burrito. Yeah, that's extremely cute. Those videos are super adorable and apparently they help us to focus as well. So why not watch it? I mean, if during the last day you're super stressed out, then it's not good anyways. Like anything that you read will not enter your brain anyway. So just put that aside and then watch videos of cute animals because apparently they can help. The fourth step that I do is to sleep on it. I usually go to bed at around 10.30 to 11 every day but if there's an exam the following day then I will go to bed even earlier like if I can I will go around 10.15 to 10.30 pm. Don't ever burn the midnight oil to like cram in everything when it's one day before the exam because it will just put all your previous efforts to waste because you are not at your best condition when you are in exam hall the following day. I highly recommend that you get enough sleep all the time, around 8 hours a day, but especially when it's one day before an exam, it is so important to get enough sleep. Sleeping can increase alertness and reduce stress, it can also improve mood and memory. Overall, having a good night's sleep ensures that you can perform your best in the exam hall the following day. The fifth thing is what I do on the day of the exam itself but it is also extremely important and it is to have breakfast. Having a breakfast full of protein can increase your alertness during the exam so try to have an egg for breakfast. You can have any other food as well, you can have bread or anything, it doesn't matter but just make sure that you have your breakfast. 
There are a few cases in my uni where the student faints during an exam because he or she didn't have breakfast beforehand. I even witnessed one of my classmates having a seizure because he didn't have breakfast that morning and also it was due to sleep deprivation as well. So this is another reason why it is so important to get enough sleep because sleep deprivation and stress, like when it is accumulated, it can cause seizures. So always have breakfast and try not to stress yourself out. And the sixth thing, which is the last thing, I recommend that you do this around 15 to 20 minutes before your exam. Write down all your worries before you go into the exam hall and do your exam. Examples of worries might be like okay, number one, I'm scared that I won't get good grades and then number two, I'm scared that I will forget what I learned and then number three, I'm scared that I'm not prepared enough. Just write all your worries down. After writing that down on some rough paper, you can crumple that paper and throw it away. Studies have shown that participants who wrote down their worries before sitting for an exam did much better than those who didn't. So when I'm feeling anxious and if I'm stressed, then I would write down my worries and then just cancel it off or throw the paper away. Writing down your worries can help to clear your mind so that you are completely focused on the exam when you are in the exam hall. So those are the six things that I do when it's one day before an exam. Some I do during the day of the exam, but yeah. At the time of this video, I know that exam season is approaching you guys soon. So I wish you all the best. Do your best in your exam. But don't stress yourself out. If you have been consistently preparing for your exams and you have been studying and revising and just doing things, then you shouldn't be so stressed out because the hard work will pay off, okay? So just relax, go into the exam hall and do your best. I know you can do it, just work hard and achieve big things. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.